This is the HomeTom C8, a $90 phone that has quite a nice design and some other cool features. Let's take a look. The phone ships with all the usual stuff and some extras include a soft TPU case and a screen protector. Design-wise, the HomeTom C8 looks really nice although it's made entirely out of plastic. Despite that, the build quality is great. A 5.5 inch display has 1280 by 640 resolution. Well, it's not the sharpest panel out there, but it's good enough for daily use. Other key features include a dual camera system that consists of 13 and 2 megapixel sensors, 8 megapixel shooter on the front, LED notification light, dual SIM card support, a headphone jack, face ID feature, a fingerprint scanner that is not the fastest out there, but it gets the job done, and lastly, the loudspeaker that produces just average sound. Here is a quick audio sample. The phone ships with a quad-core MTK6739 CPU, 2GB of RAM and just 16 gigs of internal storage. Since the phone costs just about 90 bucks, you should not expect the best performance. There are some skipped frames and stutter in the Android 8.1 based user interface that mostly preserves a stock look. Gaming performance is also just mediocre. There are a lot of skipped frames and lag. The image quality is just mediocre even for a $90 phone, but this is what you have to expect at this price point. Selfies do not look great either. 1080p video looks pretty good for a cheap phone and selfie video looks okay too. I didn't have any connectivity issues with this device. The battery life is also pretty good. The best screen on time I could achieve was about 8 hours. Overall, the HomeTom C8 is a nice-looking $90 phone that does have quite a few features to offer, but you should also consider some cons before buying it. If you're interested in picking one up, you'll find the product link down below the video. What do you think about the HomeTom C8? Would you buy it or would you choose another option? As always, drop me a comment down below, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, it was Lionus, thank you for watching and see you soon.